Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this makeup look for you. Um, I did this look literally, wait not yesterday, Saturday. So I did this makeup look on myself on Saturday and I posted to Snapchat and Instagram and you guys really loved it and requested for me to film it. So that's what I've done. If you take pictures, please tag me on Instagram because I'd really love to see your work. I'd really love to see recreations, that is if you're doing them, it's fine if you're not. And yes, yeah, so if you're wanting to see how to do this, then stick around. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with my NYX Pore Filler Primer. So you know how in my last video I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick um, and I said the coverage wasn't that great, blah 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 blah. Um, I was using a hydrating primer and I found that it would sort of stick into my pores in my nose um, and I guess yeah the coverage wasn't that great the stick wouldn't glide on that smoothly over my face so what I did over the weekend is I tried it with a um, with a pore filling primer instead and I find that it's gliding on so much smoother on my face I've got more time to be able to blend it out um, and I'm finding that because of all of these things with the foundation that I'm getting a better coverage or that I can build it up to a better coverage if that makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to do eyeshadow. Um, but first off, my eyebrows are actually freaking horrendous. Um, they need some severe plucking, so I'm just going to try and conceal all of these little <laughs> scraggly hairs underneath. I'll sort of bring this down onto the eyelid as a bit of a um, primer for our shadow as well. Okay, so for eyeshadow today, it's so easy. Like, I can't even describe to you how easy it is. I'm going to be using the Lime Crime Venus palette and taking and taking the shade, the shade Divine. I'm going to chuck that through my crease area. Then I'm going to be taking our next shade, which is called Muse, down here. And I'm just picking that up on a Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And I'm literally putting it all over my eye. Like I'm putting it all over my eye and then just blending it up. Keep picking it up and packing it on the lid area, buffing it out into the crease. Just intensify that colour to as dark or as deep as you want it. We're going to take the brown in the palette which is called Icon and I'm going to focus that on the outer corner and then bring it up into the crease and just really smoking it all out. We want it to be so blown out. So now I'm going to take a brown eyeliner and just chuck that in the waterline. And now for the fun part, this is the MAC, this is the MAC Fluid Line in Copperthorn. I feel like on my Instagram I called it Copper Sparkle. And I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure that that's the pigment, like the loose pigment. So, oopsie, maybe I'll change that. <laughs> Taking that on a pencil brush, this one is by Zoeva and it's the 230 Luxe Pencil. And I'm just going to run that all on my lower lash line all the way into the tear duct area and I want to pack this on back into the Lime Crime Venus palette and I take the orangey shade which is up here and that's called Creation and I just take that 
under the um, under that copper thorn just to blend it out and give it a bit more color and if you found that you've taken away some of the copper thorn sparkle which I have done all you have to do is just apply it back on top now we're gonna do wing liner it's that part of the show kids taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just putting it under my eyes and then on all the highest points of my face. So chin, cupid though. Look at this manky brush. Ooh. In between the eyebrows. Just buffing that out under my eyes. Again being, su being super careful not to disturb that eyeshadow. Like that in place with my MAC uh, Emphasize Powder. As Laguna Bronzer on my Real Techniques buffing brush. So we're gonna get rid of that, number one, with just a powder brush. Buff that out. So I've got a little story for you guys. I've got a little story. So on the weekend. So we, you know how we all have like the peach fuzz for hair on our faces? We all have it. Don't say you don't. Well, if you don't, I'm extraordinarily jealous and I wish I was you. Well, I've got it and I like to remove it. So like usually like every six months or so, I'll go and get my, like, my, my top lip wax. And I've been so lazy and I haven't had it done in maybe, I want to say like a year. Number one, I'm lazy because it freaking hurts like a bee arch. Number two, there isn't really another two, I'm just really lazy. So I was talking to my friend maybe like a couple of weeks ago and she said, Laura, why don't you just use the, like a hair removal cream you know, like that Vite hair removal cream. So I thought, huh, okay, maybe I'll give it a go. When I went food shopping this weekend, I was in the razor aisle and I saw the Vite hair removal cream and it said sensitive on it, okay? So I just picked it up. I didn't know, I had no idea that there was a like a special one for your face. I've never really used a hair removal cream before in my entire life. So I don't know. So I had no idea that there was meant to be a certain one for like the rest of your body and then a certain one for your face. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I get home and my shower, I wash my face, and I'm so excited because I'm like, yes! On Monday when I film, I'm going to have the best upper lip area ever. <sighs> I get out the shower and I put it on and I'm feeling great. And after about 10 seconds, it really starts to hurt. Like I'm talking like, like burning. I'm going to have warm salt right? Like fire on my face. So I took it off and I thought... And I thought, oh, well, I didn't really get any hair off. So, me, being me, I put it on again. <laughs> so, I put it on again. Clever idea. And this time, it burnt even more. So I could not leave it on for the whole five minutes that it instructed to do on the packet. I left it on for about 30 seconds. And now I'm just highlighting and I'm gonna use this Inglot Sparkling Dust in the shade 01. So I left it on for about yeah, 30 seconds, um, <laughs> and when I took it off, there was nothing really like wrong with my lip or anything, it was fine, um, but holy shit, it was burning, it was like, like, f like fire, believe me when I tell you, I had to hold ice on my lip all night, like I'm talking like four hours of holding ice on my lip. It was so painful, but like it was absolutely next level. Woo. 
um, and then what started to happen like over those few hours of me holding ice on is I started to like get little blisters on my lips because I like burnt my skin burnt my skin oh the pain so the lesson in that is don't be lazy go and get your lip wax don't use hair removal cream for it's meant for your body on your face don't do it <laughs> that's enough for my lip color I'm going to apply Buffy by Lime Pro this is the finished look so yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you're not already please subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you liked it leave any comments down below of what you want to see from me next time um, I've sort of been wondering maybe how would you feel if I was vlogging as well um, I'll leave all the products that I use in the description box down below um, along with where you can find me on Instagram and snapchat thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are having a great day great night wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time bye